Hello Python programmers. Um, I'm going to make a series of video tutorials talking you through Python. Nothing too complicated, I just want to give you like the basics. Because most of the time you learn programming just by doing it. Um, but you know, to get you going you need a little bit of help. Now you can download Python from the Python website. Uh, just go to www.python.org.uk. Go to the download section and you can download either, whoops, you can either download Python 3.4 or 2.7. Um, if you're new to Python, then I recommend going straight to the 3.4. Uh, there are a few minor differences between those two. I'm not going to cover them in my video tutorials. There's plenty of documentation online. Um, you just got to search for it. Python 2.7 is still great. There's loads of loads of supported things out there um, that work with 2.7. If you're good at using 2.7 um, and you've got loads of programs already in 2.7, then you probably don't need my video tutorials. But I would probably stick to 2.7 for now. Um, if you're brand new, go straight into 3.4. So download the one you want, install it on the operating system you want. It works on Windows and Mac and uh, Linux and things like that. Okay, so do take a look. I also recommend using a website called Code Academy. Um, it's a really good website, free to use. If you've got a Google account, you can sign in with your Google account. It offers loads of um, uh, tutorials and uh, lessons. If you click on one of these, basically it will run you through uh, with some instructions, uh, more examples and instructions. If you get stuck, um, you can. There's always a handy hint section, um, and you kind of just work your way through the tasks. I really like use that website with my students. Um, I think it's a good place to start, and I wish I had that when I was programming or learning to program. So, anyway, right, let's take a look at Python. Okay, so this video primarily looks at variables. So, what is a variable? Well, you probably already use them all the time in maths. You know, find the value of x. Well, x can be considered a variable because it can vary. So, let's look at how we use variables in Python. I'm going to create a variable called a, and I'm going to give it a value of five press enter. Now if I call a then it returns the value 5. So my variable stores a value. I'm going to set up another variable, let's call it b, and I'm going to give it a value of 10. Okay, So now I can do b and it has the value of 10. I'm going to create another variable called c and I'm going to give it the value that is equal to a times b. Okay, so 5 times 10 is going to be 50. So if I call C now, C holds the value of A times B, so it should return 50. And it does. So with Python, you don't have to always use values uh, when you're assigning a value to a variable. You can actually use the variable names themselves. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a variable called D, and it's going to be equal to C minus B. Okay, so we know b is equal to 10, we know c is equal to 50, so it should return the result of 40. Okay, now you can use the following operators with variables. A plus, so let's do a, um, well let's print, I'm going to just introduce you to a new word, so I'm going to do print a plus b. Okay, let's format it nicely. I'm going to do a plus b, so that returns 15 print a minus b, so that returns minus 5. I'm going to do print c uh, plus d. Oh no, let's do, uh, let's do c divided by uh, a, so that returns 10. I'm going to do print d times a, and that returns 200. Okay, so you've got your basic operators plus, subtract, divide, and times. Those are one type, that's one type of data. We've been using um, integers mostly. Okay, integers are whole numbers, so I've typed in a whole number. But you'll see here that this one has a decimal number. Decimal numbers are known as floats. So we've got integers, which are whole numbers. Okay, I'm gonna use, um, oops, let's go, uh, so we've got integers, we also have floats, which are um, decimal numbers. Okay. Um, we also have a thing called a string. Now, a string. Uh, let's type in name. A string is a series of characters. So I'm going to type in my name. 
Okay, there it is. If I call name, okay, I've got a string. I can have a variable called age, and I'm going to type in an integer. So that's my age. Um, so I can use strings, I can use integers, I can maybe do um, my height. So let's do my height. Um, and I want it to be, uh, well, I'm 183 centimeters, but let's say I was 183.5, okay? So I'm nearly 184 centimeters, which would be nice. Um, this is a float because it's got a decimal, okay? And um, we've got three data types there. So what about another data type? Well, we've got a Boolean. So it's like this, Boolean, okay? Booleans are yes or no. So we can have, um, let's do a simple one, alive. And that is equal to true, okay? So if I do alive, true. Um, if I was dead, then alive, would be equal to false. Okay, so alive is now false. So a boolean is either yes or no, okay, or true or false, one or zero, one or the other. So that little video just introduces you to the concept of variables and data types. We've got a variable is a, um, a, a placeholder for a value, okay, and uh, a a um, data type comes in the form of an integer, which is a whole number. There's an example. You've got a float, which is uh, a decimal, uh, a number with a decimal number, or a decimal place rather. You have a string, which basically contains some characters, and you've got a boolean, which is either yes or no, true or false, one or zero, that kind of thing. All right, so I'll, I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, we're going to take it up a level. We're going to start looking at what we can do with these variables in more detail.